Black Friday 2019 is fast approaching and as a result, sales will skyrocket at the end of this month as people splurge on new products. Now, while I advocate taking advantage of the sales if it saves you money, I do urge you to stay cautious and avoid falling into spending traps set up this time of year. If you're interested in psychological tricks sellers will use on Black Friday, then this video will help you identify these and avoid making some poor buying decisions this year. So with that said, let's look at some of the psychological tricks used during Black Friday. Number 1. Ad Buying Pressure The first is the most commonly used tactic during Black Friday and that is to put pressure on the consumer to decide whether or not to buy something. It's quite simple, Black Friday deals run for a very limited time, whereby deals last for only a few days in the best case scenario and no items on sale are announced early. What this means is as soon as the consumer becomes aware of the deal, they immediately come under pressure as to whether or not they should buy. With the clock ticking, buyers will often think through purchases less, not checking if it really is the best deal for them, whether they need the product or whether they'll use the product. And the reason for this leads us to the next point. Number 2. FOMO or the fear of missing out FOMO is a concept that's prevalent in today's society, especially with the advent of the internet, as people are more aware of possibilities available to them more than ever before, but also therefore don't want to miss out on them. This principle is used as a sales technique time and again, and Black Friday is an ideal opportunity for companies and salespeople to apply it. After all, Black Friday deals are often marketed as the best deal you'll possibly get and one that isn't likely to come around again, certainly not in the short term. This goes back to the previous point, where consumers are placed under huge pressure and don't want to potentially miss out on an amazing deal, but it's critical to be aware sales are frequent today and chances are you will get a similar opportunity in the near future. Number 3. Evoke Consistency You might think Black Friday comes and goes each year and is a one time deal, but in reality it's actually incredibly well thought out and marketed. For example, many people in various industries will start talking about Black Friday early on, capturing interest on deals you might be able to get when the sales occur. From there, they will slowly buy into your trust and use a method of consistency to increase potential spending, initially in smaller sales before they build up to the main day. Amazon is a great example of this, as if you go to their site today, you'll be shown a number of icons for sale items, all in red to help them stand out, and in the coming weeks you'll see more sales coming to the site, particularly flash sales of small items to get the selling ball rolling, before we reach Black Friday, which is when they'll advertise the biggest items available for amazingly low prices. All of this works together to start consumers to start getting into the habit of buying early, and all of it will be marketed as seasonal purchasing, which most people will accept as the norm. Number 4. Build Social Proof Companies will work to try and get you to buy their products by developing social proof to show they're in demand and therefore worth looking at. This is because humans naturally have a tendency to conform to mass behaviour, meaning if people see other people buying from a particular place or a particular product, they themselves are more likely to do the same. Therefore, many companies will target markets by building influence and social proof that they sell the best products and at the best price, often by working with companies that have an influence, or in today's world, directly with influencers online. While they don't always do it on Black Friday, Nintendo is a perfect example of this in the gaming industry, as when launching a new product, they traditionally release limited numbers and to select retailers. This results in long queues at the retailers when the product launches, resulting in it appearing as a product in incredible demand when reported to the mass market. Number 5. Offering Perceived Low Prices so there are two elements to factor here, that is the sale price and the perception of value from that sale price, as this can have a huge influence on the deal that people think they're getting. 
First with the sale price, a product might be marked as extremely low at a discounted rate where you save 50% or more when you purchase it on Black Friday. Now without getting into the legalities of the market price, what's usually worth noting is that while the product is discounted, the product itself might regularly be put at sale prices through the year and thus might be available on a deal at a number of times in the year. This leads to the second point, the perceived value you might be getting. As on Black Friday, companies will often extensively market the deals as a one-time only thing, increasing the value of the deal you're getting and thus more likely to pressure you into buying. Which when combined with the previous point, is significantly likely to increase your chances of spending. All in all, I'm not saying to avoid Black Friday, as you may get some genuinely excellent deals. However, do understand that many companies do use many psychological marketing and sales techniques to pressure people buying into items they don't need. So think clearly, really check the value of the deal you get and spend responsibly. Have you ever fallen for any of these when buying in the past? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.